to the uh, four rocky launchers and I'm gonna make one more for six rocky launcher or raw holders in the back of the boat for uh, catfish fishing or the um, crappy fishing so one two and three and four and five and six and then I'm gonna have two uh, support arm uh, welded it like over here and also over here Okay, so, you know, so this is where I can use that set for the fresh water and this one for the salt water, for the striped bass trolling and the mackerel trolling. This one can be for the fresh water um, fishing. Okay, so that is the next project. I decided to do this instead of the bolt uh, radar tower and, uh, you know, just to better my, um, welding skill before I move on to do the big uh, slide in truck camper okay so stay tuned um, to see I weld uh, the crappy fishing uh, boat rod the holder and uh, rocky launcher raw holders for six with six uh, raw holders one two three four five six so um, I try to those six pieces out of this big uh, black uh, ugly dirty uh, metals that's been lying around in my garage forever um, so um, yeah, so I cut cut those six pieces and then uh, the point is just to weld these six pieces onto these uh, individual uh, bow rod holders uh, like that, but before I uh, can do that I have to remove all the black paint out of these six pieces uh, metal um, And the purpose of the these uh, black piece of metal is to increase the well uh, double surface on the black uh, on the round uh, uh, galvanized uh, steel tube because as you can see the surface is because it's, it's you know, it's contour. It's a it's a curved surface so it's very difficult to uh, weld this these six um, round tubes to the horizontal tubes so you need to um, cut a piece of these kind of uh, metals um, and and, um, and and then uh, and then you will be able to weld this these six rods onto the other horizontal uh, round steel galvanized steel bar um, you know, so round uh, tube to round tube is very difficult to weld, uh, just because of, you know, on both uh, surfaces, um, in both round tubes, uh, the surface is curved. You know, so it's impossible, almost impossible to weld, unless you create this kind of um, uh, medium uh, sandwich in between the two round tubes, so to create more weldable surface, so it's much easier to weld. Uh, especially for beginners uh, like uh, like me, the weekend warrior, what they call um, like us, you know. So, um, you know, and this this set of uh, boat rod uh, holders will be used for fresh water um, because there's no trolling needed. Uh, the uh, rods uh, distance can be closer than the saltwater fishing, uh, where um, you you have you, you most of the time you will be trolling so. You know, I only um, across the 66, uh, 65 inches horizontal bar. I actually have only four rod holders on that uh, 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 steel rod, but on this one, it's going to have six because you know, crappy fishing or catfish fishing, especially it's bottom fishing. It's you know, you just uh, sink sink the bait to the bottom of the uh, river, and you don't even move. And you know, that's why six uh, fishing rod holders should uh, work and uh, if I really want to I can uh, you know build eight of them but it's um, way too much I mean six is already plenty and you know you don't want to you know catch all the fish um, well at least not me I don't I don't need to catch all the fish I need you know just just you know especially bottom fishing is uh, a little bit boring you know to tell, to tell you the truth so anyway so let me uh, weld these uh, onto these uh, six tubes and then um, be able to uh, weld these six tubes onto the horizontal bar or bar and finish um, the this set of uh, boat rod holders or uh, rocky launcher for my um,
for my uh, uh, freshwater fishing. Here's a quick uh, short video uh, before I um, remove the black paint from these six metal plates. Uh, like it's, uh, th these uh, six plates can help increase the surface of the, um, to, to increase the weldable surface um, when you round, uh, when you weld the round tube, uh, round tube uh, to round tube uh, rod holders or a boat rocking launcher. Okay, so, you know, this is my tip and I'm going to remove it and I'm going to film it, uh, you know, so you can see. put the six uh, metal plates on top of the rod holders now so I'm gonna be welding them next okay so there you have it you know basically you can see just put it on top of this I think I'm going to once I tag well uh, this piece on this um, round tube um, I am going to use hammer to uh, try to hammer the edges so the uh, metal to metal piece will to so this tiny metal piece will um, uh, attach to the round tube closer so this way the gap is smaller so when I weld this thing it's going to be a lot easier when there is a very uh, little gap or no gap it will be a lot harder to weld this if there's a big gap between the round uh, uh, tube and also the metal piece okay um, I'm ready to weld but before I weld it I use these this uh, locking plier to lock this piece onto uh, the tube and the next thing I did was I just hammer these so the gap is uh, you know closer um, now I'm just gonna weld it um, you know tack weld this uh, piece
Yeah, I think it's well did it. That top piece. I think I can remove the locking fire. And you can see, it's well did it. I'm gonna remove the locking fire. Here we go. We're gonna continue to well. Uh, you know, the side. But before I do that, I just want to hammer this side a little bit more. Because you can see the side is not as, uh, not as uh, flush. Meaning, um, I, I was hoping that uh, the side will just attach, you know, the round tube. You know, so, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm going to hammer it. My hammer. And same thing over here. And you can see it's a little bit better, but uh, well, let me uh, continue to weld this thing anyway. Yeah, I think this uh, wall did uh, almost blew a hole. I'm not sure, but anyway, so I think that wall did it. Uh, I'm gonna continue to do the sides. Yeah, you can see that's the side, and it's uh, welded us. So I'm only, I only have this uh, side left. So I'm gonna continue to weld this side, and then uh, call it a day because it's getting too too, too dark uh, to continue. So basically, that's what I'm going to be doing for the, uh, the other five. So you can see that weld. Not the uh, most beautiful weld, but uh, it, it did it, you know? So me, I will, I guess I can repair this a little bit, but uh, you know, it's good enough. It's not gonna fall off. It's the most important thing. 
you know, so. So that is that. So that's one done. Anyway, so that one is done. 